first day of our project had to do with consumption. So I decided today, instead of taking my wallet, my credit card, and my debit card, I'd leave everything home in order to do my I've been trying to do the right. The second day had to do with trash, so I decided, instead of throwing away the extra material from my athletic shirt, I'd use it in order to clean my clothes. I also made use of the many water stations in my building. With my reusable water bottle, I stocked one more bottle from having to be used. As far as transportation goes, I already live on a very small campus, so it's not odd for me to walk everywhere that I go. But seeing the cars on campus was a high It's not that bad. No, better. You're I going so slow, to too. Go faster. Oh, no. Where this kid go? Where is he? apples. The food choices in Chen also made it very easy for me to eat healthy. I had so many choices of greens that I didn't know where to start. What made it even better was the fact that all of our fruits and our produce come from local farms. This means that there's very minimal travel time for all of our foods. As I was minimizing my impact, I actually unplugged my power source. On the energy day, it was actually pretty rough to turn off my television. But I was able to turn off the TV and actually get in the game. Just for this day, instead of drinking juice, I decided to drink water. It actually wasn't half bad. Why are you looking over there for? <laughs> As the last day involves giving back, I decided to, get to vow to give money to the Shooting Touch Foundation. This is a foundation that uses basketball to help teens in our neighborhoods. As this project came to a close, I realized that all we have to do in order to make a big impact is make small changes. What we do determines our tomorrow. As we deny ourselves so, of unnecessary pleasures, as we'll we gain enjoyment in the very end. This is my No Impact Project.